Hi everyone. Welcome back to another session of the uh, discussions and demonstrations of practice exercises found in your modules. This video right now is concerned on the practice exercises found on the uh, lesson number one of unit number three. But first, let me share to you a screen containing uh, the uh, already open module in the Kotobi Reader application software, like here. So let me click this uh, material at the bottom for you to be able to see what Unit 3 is. So Unit 3 is actually concerned on the real number system, the vast family of real number system. Okay, so we have uh, six lessons for this um, uh, unit. So we will start first with lesson number one, which is concerned on the subsets of the real number system. Okay. So again, as same as last time, we are not going to talk about the contents here, but we will, we shall proceed immediately to the practice exercises found in this lesson. So we will talk about practice exercise A in determining whether these numbers here are considered to be rational or irrational numbers. For this, let me share to you another screen. The, uh, already opened paint application software containing the practice exercises. So we have five numbers in practice exercise A for lesson number one. Again, the concern is to determine whether these numbers are rational or irrational numbers. In the module, we were able to discuss how to determine numbers, whether they are rational or irrational. If you talk about uh, numbers with decimal uh, notations, rational numbers are those numbers with decimal notations that ends or even if they are, they do not end or terminates, but they repeat with a pattern. For numbers with decimal notations that do not repeat a pattern, nor it, nor, uh, uh, nor end, or meaning it doesn't end, it is an ex they are examples of irrational numbers. So for number one here, number one is an example of an integer. So an integer. Okay, just like this, may be given with decimal notations 0 0.000 dot 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 dot, or you don't need to do that actually, but if it's like that, this is an example, number one, for negative seven, this is an example of a rational number, right. or it belongs to the uh, set of rational numbers. Number two, as so you have noticed in number two, we have decimal notations here. Well, 0.1792, okay? It ends here. It ends here. It doesn't have any more uh, values for decimal notation, uh, decimal, decimal values. In short, this is also an example of a rational number. For number three, okay, noticeable that this has ellipses. It means it doesn't end, right? So that's one consideration already. It The decimal notations doesn't end. But still, it could actually fall as a rational or irrational number because both rational and irrational numbers may also be uh, an ending or it doesn't, it, the decimal notations that doesn't terminate. So what we need to do right now is to check at the pattern. Look at the pattern. We are on decimal notations, okay? You have two decimal notations, two, two, four, and you have two, 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 and then four, four, four. The patterns here do not necessarily, uh, the, the decimal notations here do not necessarily contain the pattern. When we say pattern, it repeats its uh, pattern numbers. If we, say, if we say one, two, three, then one, two, three, and one, two, three, so on and so forth. Or even your 0 0.333333, which is equivalent to one third, that becomes rational. But for number three here, you have 
the pattern, this, uh, there is no specific pattern on the flow of the numbers. So again, it doesn't have a pattern. And earlier, it doesn't terminate. So this is actually an example of a of an irrational number. Number four. Okay, number four. It's a negative number. Okay, when we talk about negative number, it could still be both any of either rational or irrational. So let's try to determine first. Again, it also contains ellipses. That means it doesn't end. That's one one consideration. Second, if it has it ha a pattern, so you have one, two, five, six, one, two, five, six, one, two, five, six here. Okay, it it resembles a pattern of numbers one, two, five, six repeating pattern. So this, even if it doesn't end, this is an example of a rational number. And finally, for number five. Again, there's no noticeable pattern and it doesn't end. Therefore, this is an example of an irrational number. Okay. Identifying whether the irrational or irrational is very important because there might be some processes that will only be applicable to the, ration, the group of rational numbers or the set of rational numbers. And there might also be a properties that will also be for irrational numbers. Okay. Later on, if we talk about rational numbers, we are going to talk about some prop operations of the rational numbers. We could chunk them up into two groups, the fractions and the integers. And for irrational numbers, our goal is to only estimate their values. Okay. So again, this video contains the discussions and demonstrations of the practice exercises found in uh, lesson one of unit number three. See you in the next video. Goodbye.